this is a pretty commonly asked question. Um, actually, hair transplantation is a misnomer. We don't really transplant the hair, but we transplant the follicle or the root. Um, in order to do this, we shave the hair so that there's just a little nubbin um, that sticks out from the follicle, and that's what's transplanted. After the surgery, it feels like a little beard. Um, when the hair grows in, though, it grows in as a fine vellus hair, kind of after you've tweezed the hair and it grows in with a, a pointy tip rather than a, a flat surface after you shave. Um, so right after the surgery, you'll feel this beard. After about 10 days to maybe two or three weeks, that hair is gradually extruded. And during this time, people often think that, well, the hair is starting to grow. It's really not growing. It's, act it's just falling out. Once it falls out, the follicle goes into a resting period that usually lasts a couple of months. And then the new, very fine vellus hair starts to grow in, and that gradually increases in length and in, in diameter over the course of about a year. So at a year, you usually see uh, the majority of the results of the transplant. Um, it can be a little bit earlier in first-time transplants and a little bit later after multiple transplants. Um, this growth, though, happens in waves. It doesn't happen um, in a linear form, but kind of happens in fits and starts. So it's really um, difficult even for the doctor to say, well, you know, how well the transplant's going to be, you know, six months post-op. You really just have to have to wait.